Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max enthusiasts, welcome to another episode of 3D Corner. In today's episode we're going to talk about units in 3D Studio Max and I'm gonna show you why it's important to, to set up your units from the beginning of the project depending on the scale of your project. So if you are ready, let's dive in. So to open the unit setup in 3D Studio Max, you need to go to Customize Unit Setup. Uh, this is gonna pop up. In general, the program is coming, I think, with the generic units and the system units in millimeters, I think, now. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you from the beginning exactly what it means. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna check generic units international, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna create for uh, the start just a small sphere, I'll make it 50 have it bigger I'm gonna maximize this so what's happening here in the moment that I'm clicking on the fear I'm going to the modifier here this is the display units of my project so when I'm going to the customize unit setup and I open this toolbar uh, here it's showing me the display units so I'm using now generic units international so it's showing me 50 units if I'm moving this to metric millimeters for example this here is gonna change i'm gonna apply okay and now as you can see it says 50 millimeters so my 50 units that i had before now they are 50 millimeters if i'm going back now and i change all of this to centimeters i'm gonna apply okay it's gonna become five centimeters because 50 millimeters it's equal with five centimeters and if i go now to unit setup again and i changing this to uh us decimal inches it's gonna be 1.969 inches so it doesn't really matter how you start the project so for example if you are from the us and you need to work in inches you can and you have you started working having your display units in millimeters in the beginning you can change all of that later it's no problem the program is just converting your uh, 3d model that you already have from inches into millimeters or meters and so on so all of this can be changed at any time the second part that we're going to discuss is the system unit setup which is here uh, this is a totally different thing so right now if i'm clicking on this now it's on millimeters i'm gonna click ok ok so what's happening so for example when you have a small project uh, where you are creating, uh, for example, a cup of tea or a chair or a table or even smaller things, it's better to use to work on millimeters on the metric display unit and the system unit setup to have its own also on the millimeters. In this way, you know that you can make all the details that you need even details smaller than one millimeter what does it mean if i click ok on this and now i'm okay and i now i have this sphere in the moment that i'm clicking on it you can see that the sphere has three decimals over the so it's 50 millimeters and 0 0.13 millimeters this means that i can go to very very small details so one of a thousand of a millimeter I can go with the details so this is why it's very important to know exactly what type of the project you're gonna make because this is gonna affect your workflow but if you have a bigger project like rendering or making an apartment for example or uh, something like that it's better to change the scale units to something bigger so it's, be it's better to go to unit setup and change your system unit setup to centimeters but what this is going to do is going to change my 5.2516 millimeters into 525 1.6 millimeters. So what the program is doing when I'm telling him that I want to change from one millimeter to 50 millimeters, so to from one millimeter to uh, to one centimeter, he's scaling everything for you. So in this moment what I have here, I can still have my display units in millimeters, but my system units is changed to centimeters. So this means that uh, my sphere is becoming bigger, 10 times bigger. So right now I don't have a 
52 mm sphere, I have a 525 mm sphere. So this is quite big, it's a big change in the project. This is why it's good to know, as I'm saying, and I'm always saying that, it's good to know exactly what type and how big is your project. But if you need to make a bigger project, like a small city or an architectural building or a parking lot or something or a landscape is better to change your the system you need to change to meters or if you're talking about the building and if you're talking about the huge landscape is better to change it to kilometers in this way uh, the program will understand how big is your project so i hope uh, everything was quite clear always good to remember in the beginning of any project that you're doing to go to customize unit setup check your units do your changes according to your the size of your project so i'm using here millimeters i'm gonna use also here millimeters it's better to have them in the same units so you know exactly what's the size of your project click ok and then go and just uh, reset everything don't save do you really want to reset yes now trees to max is resetting i'm gonna go again to customize unit setup to check if everything is accordingly and yeah everything is good so i hope everything was quite easy to understand uh, what i tried to explain to you the unit setup this is very very important to know exactly what's happening because in the moment that you are importing 3d models from other projects uh, you need to convert them to the units that you are uh, working on it. So for example, uh, I have units set up here to millimeters. In the moment that I'm importing a car, the program is gonna ask me, do you want to merge that car to the same unit set up to convert it in this unit set up? And this is important because otherwise, if for example, I'm gonna merge, uh, I'm gonna merge a car, a 3D model of a car. Okay, and now this is the car that I just merged. Uh, it's a very beautiful BMW and if I go on the top normally I should check the size of the car so it's around 4,800 300 millimeters so this means that it's 4 meters and 800 uh, millimeters so this is the correct size of the car but if I had customized unit setup As you can see now it's exactly the same size the only big difference is that uh, it's actually much smaller than before how do i know that is because i had to zoom in so for example now we are in the in customized unit setup in meters as we had before i'm going to change to to this to millimeters i'm going to click on this i'm going to leave it as it is yeah, I'm gonna make again the rectangle so I know the size. When I'm emerging again the car, uh, and the program is asking me oh yeah, about the materials, how to alter your name, you see materials. So, this is my car now, and if I check here, this is 4.8 meters but here I have also the same car that it was imported before when my units were into in uh, in meters so yes this is the difference when you are in meters he's going to try to import each time the scale of the car on the system units that you have so this is why it's important you can't change the system units after you start the working otherwise you need to scale everything down or up according to that so this is why all the time don't forget check the system units and try to figure out exactly the size of your project okay and this is what this was everything i hope you guys understand what uh, i tried to explain you to today please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give it a like if you think it's helpful for you or just save it on your youtube playlist if you think it was helpful just uh, share it with your friends and um, i hope to see you soon and see you in the next one Bye.